How do you get started? What do you do to begin to get to this portfolio view? So the first thing you need to do is assess the state of your existing files. And I'm using this word files uh, because I want to include organizations that may have file cabinets full of paper, which still exists. So you may have lots and lots of paper contracts or lots and lots of electronic contracts and documents uh, just all over. We'll talk about that. The second thing is you need to figure out the scope of the work you're going to do. Are you going to be focusing on just expense contracts or revenue plus expense or maybe even a specific department or segment? And then organizationally, you need to figure out who is on board with this initiative and who is not because that will change and shape how you set up and configure the contract management solution. The state of the files. This is probably something like the current state of the files. There are documents in lots of different places maybe on people's personal uh, computers, maybe on network drives that may or may not have had their directory structure maintained. Uh, individual contract documents may not be together, so you may have the main agreement in one place and the amendment and the schedule and the exhibit and the statement of work all in different places. Uh, you may have paper files. You may have a mix of paper and electronic. Knowing what you're looking at is really important to start it. So you've got to assess the current state of those files. Ask yourself some basic questions. Are they paper or electronic? Where are they located physically? And by physically, I mean uh, like what computer are they located if they're electronic or if they are in paper, what their physical location is. And are the document packages complete? So if when you go grab that paper file or you go to that network directory or that document management system, are all of the documents for that relationship together or not? And is there any contract metadata available already uh, for those files. What do we need mean by that metadata? What we mean is that we have some data about some of those contracts. It is not unusual at all, in addition to the state of the files, is for organizations to have spreadsheets concerning their contracts. And there might be many spreadsheets, there might be a few, but you want to go find the spreadsheets about the contracts and make sure you've got them all. How many spreadsheets are there out there in your organization regarding contracts? What metadata are you tracking? What do we mean by metadata? We mean the label on the columns of the spreadsheet. Typically, the title of the agreement, the party, the effective date, the end date, so on. Now, the problem is spreadsheet can be challenging um, in terms of capturing that data because of the limitations of the spreadsheets, um, but you want to make sure you know what metadata is being tracked and notice whether the spreadsheets, if there are more than one, whether the metadata, the column labels are the same across them or different, and do those differences matter? How current are the spreadsheets? When were they last updated? If the last contract that's on there was from three years ago, they probably aren't up to date. But getting information about their maintenance and their currency and their accuracy is really important. And are they consistent across the spreadsheets, uh, their usage and management? And is there any enforced validation? So what is the quality of the data? This can make it challenging to sort and report on that data or to convert to another system. So understanding whether the features of the spreadsheet were used to provide some increase in the quality of data on the spreadsheets. And most importantly, and often missing from spreadsheets, is a link or list of the documents that are associated with the contract. Where are the exhibits, amendments, pricing schedules, certificates of insurance, etc. They may not be identified on the spreadsheet. It is also possible the spreadsheet does not even include a reference to the main agreement. That is very common. So basically what you have is a spreadsheet that has data about contracts, and then you have document files somewhere else, and there's no way to link them together if you ever needed to go see the details.